everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. I hope that you'll think about subscribing before you exit on out by hitting that little red button below. It's free, it costs nothing, and I'd love to have you join me each week as I talk all things home. For all, the, all of those that are new, my name is Kelly. So back in October, a group of ladies, we got together and we did a collaboration playlist on doing a fall Halloween Thanksgiving tablescape and we had so much fun doing this we decided to do a Christmas winter one as well. So today I will be showing you how I put together my Christmas table. So I will leave a link to the playlist below in the description box. Be sure to click on that and that will take you to everybody else's videos. I can't wait to see what everybody is going to do because at Thanksgiving, Halloween, fall these ladies blew me away with their creativity and their tablescapes. They were simply gorgeous and I know you're going to love watching those as well. So be sure to check out that playlist after you finish watching mine. And if you're coming over from one of the other ladies' channels, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video. And please be sure to say hi in the comments below and where you're coming from. I'd love to see where everybody uh, is coming from. So be sure to say hi. Now I decided to do something a little different than I normally do for my tablescape and I drew inspiration from my gorgeous Christmas dishes that my mother gave me oh probably almost 30 years ago when I first got married and had children to start our own Christmas traditions and I use these dishes every year and I absolutely love them. So now let's get into the video and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for my tablescape for Christmas this year. So the first thing I decided to do was use a piece of garland that I cut in half and layered in some other picks and some other Christmas balls in it. And now I'm going to place this table riser, which I made, and just place it in the center over the garland so I can use it for other things to place on top. And now I'm going to use these really gorgeous acrylic reindeer that I found at the dollar store and I'm going to place them at each end of the garland and they're just so pretty. So you can see my silver reindeer in the background and I drew inspiration from my plates, the Christmas trees and these reindeer which I just love. So that's where my inspiration for this table came from. The lantern I'm adding is one I made recently for another collab and I will leave the link to that one in the uh, description box below in case you're interested in watching that video to see how I made that. Now I'm just going to place some of these berry twines around the bottom of it just to add a little bit of color to it. Now I'm going to be adding in these gold chargers which I use most years and uh, I'm just going to place them at each of the place settings. And here are my Christmas dishes. I just love these and I took inspiration from the Christmas tree in the middle for all the greenery and a little bit of gold and red to add onto the table. And then these napkin rings I got for the uh, Goodwill Challenge last year and then I took my red napkins and made it into a bow. I'm going to place it on the plate at the top and now I'll show you how I made this bow. It was really quite simple. Just place your napkin down in the diamond shape and take the top end down to the bottom. Then you're just going to fold it up from there in you know, however many times it takes. I think I rolled mine about four times up and then you flip it over. From there you come in about a third from each end and you lay the, uh, you fold the, the end over and you do the same thing on the other side so that it crosses over the other part of the, uh, the bow. Then you take your napkin holder and you take the end of the bow and the top part of it and stuff it through your uh, napkin ring and you have a pretty little bow. And I thought this was perfect to lay on the plate because the star resembled the star that is on the top of the Christmas tree on my plates. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up 
close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be now I'm going to place my place card holders, my snowflake ones, and I didn't realize, but my uh, my place cards actually have the little silver reindeers on them, which I thought was perfect for this table since I used the acrylic ones on the table, and there's one on my dining room buffet. I've had these place card holders for years. They're just so pretty and sparkly and I love using them every year. And every year I have to have my Christmas crackers at each place setting and this box I bought last year at the end of a season sale and I thought it was perfect because a few of them have the Christmas tree with the star on them so I thought it was an absolutely perfect touch to finish the table. And now I'll give you a closer look at how everything came together. Joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do. It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling. It is that time of the year. Drinking hot wine by the fire. I have to admit, I'm really loving the use of the gold and the silver with the white and the touches of red this year. What colors do you guys like to decorate in? Leave a comment below and let us all know what's your favorite Christmas color to decorate with in your home. So that's my tablescape for this year and I love the way it turned out. I love all the whites and the golds and the silver and with a little touch of red. I am loving it this year and it's something completely different that I've done than I've done than in other years. So I want to thank all the other ladies who participated in this uh, collaboration. It was so much fun again. I can't wait to watch the playlist because you guys blew me away at Thanksgiving and fall time. It was so much fun to do and be able to participate with you. And thank you to Heidi for putting together all the, uh, for getting us all together to do this once again. And be sure to check out that playlist below because you're gonna get lots of inspiration, lots of ideas, and it'll be so much fun. I can't wait to watch and see what everybody else does. So until next time, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And think about giving it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out. Share it with family and friends, somebody that you think might enjoy uh, watching something like this. I would love if you did that. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. It's been up on my